My name is Kristen Kane. I'm going to show you a variety of study techniques that you can use in your courses. It's important to learn a wide variety of study techniques. Different types of tests and courses require different types of learning skills and memorization skills. When re memorizing short and concise facts, such as vocabulary for learning a language, flashcards can be very helpful. To create flashcards, you will need 3x5 cards. Here's an example of cards that you may make when learning how to conjugate verbs in French. For each card, you will write one fact. Keep it short and simple, limiting each side of the card to one fact. Sort the cards into files. One, yes I know these, and two, no I don't know these. Carry the don't know group to review at opportune moments. Once a fact is learned, transfer these into the I know pile. As the I know pile gets larger and the don't know pile shrinks, there's a visual feedback on the progress. Another type of memory technique is using mnemonic devices. Mnemonic devices work by using something easy to remind you of something difficult. One type of mnemonic device is an acronym. Acronyms are useful when learning new terminology. One popular example is the Roy G. Biv. Roy G. Biv stands for red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet, which are the colors of the spectrum. Another skill to help, me help memorize facts are creative sentences. Acrostics are sentences that help you remember a series of letters that stand for something. Many of you who have learned to read music will recognize every good boy deserves fudge. This stands for the music notes on the lines of a treble class staff, E, G, B, D, and F. Rhymes and songs are also good devices to help memorize facts. For example, when I was trying to learn symbols for chemistry, I couldn't remember that K stood for potassium, so I created the rhyme Pots in the kitchen, and kitchen starts with K. The last type of memorization skills to be introduced is systems. Systems are great when needing to remember speech or lots of information. They can provide a visual for you visual learners. The loci system was a system used by ancient Greek orators to help them remember speeches. It's a system that creates vis visual associations with familiar locations. Greek philosophers would use the system of loci when giving a speech. They would create a mental picture of rooms in a house or some other structure and give each room some kind of meaning. Here's an example of how you may use the system of loci for a psychology class. We will use it in order to remember the seven different perspectives in psychology. Evolutionary, neurobiological, cognitive, behavioral, sociocultural, humanistic, and psychoanalytic. For example, in my mind, I walk through a garden gate and think of the evolutionary perspective. I imagine all of the garden plants evolving. I enter the house through the kitchen door and think of the behavioral perspective. My mother always disciplined us in the kitchen. Next, I turn left into the bathroom and think of the neurobiological perspective. I relate brain chemistry with medicine kept in the bathroom. I go next into the bedroom and think of the psychoanalytic perspective. Freud makes me think of bedrooms. Next I enter the family room and think of the humanistic perspective. The humanistic perspective talks about unconditional love which I relate to with my family, thus the family room. Moving into the living room, I think of the sociocultural perspective. Actually having a living room that is only meant for guests must be something that few cultures can afford. Lastly, I enter the study and think of the cognitive perspective. I study in the study. This is where my thinking works. For more information on study techniques, please review what's on the website for the class.